So we out here. It's a new destination. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to come out to a public place like this because there's cars everywhere. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Anyway, the house is occupied, occupado. But um, that ain't gonna stop us. We still gonna talk about these movies, huh? All right. So let's get into these topics because I was told that there's some hot topics for the week. Let's get into it. Apparently the first audience reactions for Deadpool weren't good. Jeez, shocker? Uh, <clears throat> I think not. Uh, I am excited for this Deadpool too, but at the same time, y'all know that Ryan Reynolds kind of kicked off Tim Miller from the project. And in case you don't know, Tim Miller is the director of the first one and he made that movie what it was to be honest like for real that's the tea if it wasn't for tim miller that movie would not be what it is uh so honestly if it, if it flops that's on ryan reynolds he did that shit to himself ego got the better of him whatever it ain't my money <laughs> it ain't my money i'm gonna see it for free but they're going into reshoots what do you think most movies going to reshoots it's nothing new uh it's funny that they're going into reshoots now because it's coming out in like two months i'm sorry y'all for the fucking noise i chose the most noisy place to come record but uh yolo anyway yeah you know what we'll see what fucking happens we'll see next um john favreau is directing one of the star wars series on, for the streaming service. I know you love talking about the Disney streaming service and Star Wars so much. Sorry, I'm just like so distracted. That bird is so noisy. Like, bitch, we get it. We get it at this point. All right. Um, you know what? I like John, John Favreau. I think he's like slept on as an, a director. Uh, he directed the Iron Man trilogy. No. The first two. The first two, yeah, the first two. And then he directed uh, Jungle Book. So, I mean, he's got it in him to make, like, likable characters and memorable um, movies and, and in projects. So I think that given a good script and given a good writing um, opportunity, I think it can come out pretty good. Anyway, trying to... Anyway, um, yeah, 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 I'm okay with this. I, I don't care about Star Wars at all. So honestly, if it fails, like who cares? I don't. If it if it succeeds, like kudos to them. But um, they lost my trust. So S suck a fat one, Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> so the Obamas are in talks with Netflix to have a multi-million dollar deal of some sort. Bruh, I've been saying. I've been saying. Now that y'all elected a reality TV star to be our president, uh, we might as well start to get, we might as well get presidents, ex-presidents to be reality stars at this point. So you know what? I will totally watch a reality TV show with the Obamas. Bet. Or, like, Barry, I don't know if any, any of y'all saw Barry, but Netflix put out this movie called Barry, which was about Obama when he was young. That was so good. And you know what? If it's anything like that, I'm so interested in this. I think that them two are so inspiring. They're going to inspire so many young people, old people, all people. I'm so down for this. Like, for real. Supposedly they're going to have a lot of uh, documentary type stuff if this goes through. And they're going to, like, introduce the films or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It's probably still in the works. But something along the lines of documentaries. That's cool. Down. I just want to see Michelle. Yeah. Y'all, it is so noisy. What the fuck is wrong? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm down for this. So, shifting gears, uh, apparently, uh, Mario, you know, Nintendo Mario, is getting a movie made from the people who made Despicable Me 2 and 1. Despicable Me people are making Mario. Just Mario? Like, not Mario and Luigi? It just says Mario movie. 
Y'all, I mean, he might be sad. Ending. This is sad. We live in a very sad time. I don't know who. Okay, like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna have like an actor hop on, like, hop on moving mushrooms and fight like animated? What does he even fight? What does he do? What's the premise of Mario? I don't get it. He is fights it... turtles and mushrooms. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, the most exciting news that Mario ever had was that he had nipples. I don't know if y'all saw that, but look it up. Mario's nipples. That was exciting, you know? And Big perky? This is not exciting. I don't care. Where's Luigi? I think he might be in it. Probably not. I don't know. They always sleep on Luigi. Well, yeah, Luigi is so slept on, y'all. He's so much better than Mario, honestly. That's my onion. Um, we'll fucking see. So, uh, it was just announced that Happy Death Day 2 starts filming in May. I didn't see the first one, so I can't really speak on this movie. I mean, Blumhouse, Jason Blum, is a master producer. He makes, he makes movies with the smallest budget and then makes like triple that amount he's a genius he's like i'm gonna put like two million on this movie and then make like 50 million on it that's brilliant you know like he's so good at his job and it's so noisy y'all anyway um yeah i i didn't see the first one so we'll fucking see we'll see what happens in the next one i don't see why happy death day would get a sequel if is it could be the same person? She could just keep reliving the same situation. I didn't see anything like that. It was just they're announcing it films in May. Well, he knows what he's doing, so I'm not going to question his, his. And honestly, for five million, there's no way you're not making that money back. I mean, honestly, like, how are these actors getting paid? Are they only getting paid like two thousand for per movie? Maybe back end deals. <laughs> Um, and last but not least, the Charmed remake. They have cast the sisters. You guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love me some Charmed. I fucking love Charmed. I grew up on that shit. Uh, at first I was kind of sad. I was like, who the fuck does CW think they are remaking Charmed? Like, Charmed is iconic. But uh, seeing all the new cast members and seeing that there could be Latina actresses and, and it's going to be... A lot different than the original source material i think that it could work really well and i'm really excited for this you know like i actually can't wait to see it i'm like man when is this coming out like i'm missing some good witch action where are the good witch shows like honestly like i know they're remaking sabrina the teenage witch and and charmed but currently where are the good witch shows someone tell me like honestly i'm missing some good witch action so i'm down i'm so ready for this and I lied when I said that was the last story. <laughs> What's new? Fantastic Beasts. New trailer came out. What are your thoughts? Um, I think Fantastic Beasts 1 was really good. I honestly didn't think it needed a sequel. But um, they planned like five or six of those hoes. So at this point, it's like, it's going through. It's happening. Um, I thought the trailer looked pretty good. I hate Johnny Depp. So I was like... Going into it, I was like, oh no, I really hope they don't like focus too much on him. Because I think Colin Farrell is slept on as an actor. He did such a good job in the first Fantastic Beast movie. But um, yeah, you know, it looks okay. I'm gonna watch it. I love that fantasy shit. I love Harry Potter, so fuck it, YOLO. Watch it, go watch it. What do you think about the whole controversy of Dumbledore's relationship with Grindelwald not really being a focus of the movie. It's not really about them though. Like honestly, it's called Fantastic Beasts. Like, it's about Newt Scamander's character. It's about him being uh I don't know what he is, but he studies like magical creatures. It's not about these two gay wizards. Like, of course I would love to see like these two gay wizards expanded on in on screen, but the same time it's like it's not really about them it's not really about them it's not their story you know what i mean like it's his story and it's it's about these new characters so honestly i feel like people just want to be mad be mad keep that shit away from me i'm gonna watch it don't watch it if you're mad about it at the end of the day if you don't like something 
who gives a fuck about your opinion? Who gives a fuck about my opinion? Don't watch what you don't want to watch. Watch you what you want to watch. Like, at the end of the day, seriously, people are going to gripe about shit all they want. Me, my, myself included, you know? So it's not going to stop someone from watching it or it's not going to stop someone from not watching it. You know, like, whatever. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it because she lying. I know she's going to throw in some gay shit. Like, for real. I know there's going to be some gay shit. And I'm going to be ready for that. I'm ready to see some wizard wands, if you know what I'm saying. God. And on that note, that's everything I got. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know what? These next couple of months are going to be good. Um, let's just wait and see. Let's just ride this train, like I always say. Let's just ride this out. There's nothing we can do about it. As much as we say we have control over what shit comes out uh, out of Hollywood and, and blah, 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 like, they don't care about our opinions. Honestly, our job is either to ride it out or participate. I'm going to ride this out. We're going to see. So, anyway, sorry again for the ruckus. Um, but... Yeah, I had no choice because, yeah, but teeing out. <laughs>